What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I'm Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for being a listener of the Elective Rotation, a critical care and hospital pharmacy podcast. This is episode 453. In this episode, I'll discuss the use of ketamine and status asthmaticus. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 453. Because of its bronchodilator properties, the disassociative anesthetic ketamine is sometimes used as an adjunct in the treatment of status asthmaticus. While there's not enough data for ketamine to be routinely recommended for status asthmaticus, there are several case reports that clinicians may use to justify its use. The doses reported have included boluses from half to 1 mg per kilo and continuous infusions from 0.15 to 3 mg per kilo per hour. There is not a single recommended dose from a well-designed study for this indication. Even though ketamine should not affect the respiratory drive, I would give consideration as to whether the patient is on mechanical ventilation or not before deciding on a dose. My two main reasons for this are, number one, a patient who is using accessory muscles to breathe may stop using them if they're put into a dissociative state of anesthesia by a high dose of ketamine. And number two, When pushed too fast, ketamine may cause a brief period of apnea, which would be potentially catastrophic in a status asthmaticus patient if the team was not immediately prepared to intubate. If the patient is already mechanically ventilated, a dose of 0.75 mg per kilo IV bolus followed by an infusion of 0.75 mg per kilo per hour is roughly the midpoint between published case report dosing. If the patient is not yet intubated, I prefer sub-anesthetic dosing with a bolus of 0.5 mg per kilo followed by an infusion at 0.15 to 0.5 mg per kilo per hour. Members of my Hospital Pharmacy Academy have access to practical training on the treatment of status asthmaticus and the use of ketamine in critical care from a pharmacist's point of view, along with many other resources to help in practice. To get immediate access, go to pharmacyjoe.com slash academy. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.